all right guys welcome back to the second part in react web series in this web series we're gonna begin with some things so i'm just gonna assume that you have a working terminal it does not matter if you're on linux mac or you know windows it does not really matter on linux and mac i would assume that you have at least bash or zsh right on windows git bash is fine wsl is fine as well if you have powershell that is fine too Right, so once you do that, I hope you have Node and NPM set up as well on your machines. If you don't have that, well, there are a lot of videos I have done to, uh, to actually guide you how to set that up. So check that out in the description. And once you do that, you should be good to go. Now, first things first, what you have to do is just install something known as Create React App as a global package using NPM, right? If you're using Yarn, that's fine as well, but I'll just stick with NPM in this whole web series. Since you can see, I already had that installed, so it just updated that for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin off a React application really quickly without getting into you know, the details of Webpack and Babel and stuff like that, because that might complicate stuff right now. We're gonna come to that later on in the series, but for now, let's just spin up a real quick app using Create React App. And I'm just gonna name this, you know, uh, my first react app right and hit enter so once you do that what it does is that it actually creates a new folder called my first react app in your working directory and it will install all the necessary um, scripts and packages which are required for your app for your react app to run and to build and to execute so we're just gonna wait for a minute or so here and it should be ready all right, so once we do that, you're gonna see that it gives us a little bit of some sort of instructions. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into my first React app and we're gonna see that we have a bunch of files already for us. And I'm just gonna open it in VS Code, right? So if you have VS Code installed and the environment variables for you Windows guys or the path variable for you know Mac and Linux people, if you have that set up, you should be able to just write code in your terminal and dot. So once you do that, it opens a VS Code instance of this particular project and you should be good to go once it's completely loaded. All right, so here we are, right? And I'm just gonna zoom in a little and I'm gonna open package.json file. Now this package.json file would contain all our dependencies and the scripts which we can run from the terminal using NPM and you know ESLIN configuration if you want and some sort of extra configuration as well. We're not going to get into all of these details at the moment, but we're gonna to come to them as we proceed. So see for dependencies as of now, we have React, we're using React 16.11, React Tom, obviously the same version, and React Scripts, right? React Scripts is where the magic happens, all that magic happens, right? So for now, we can just gonna sort of go ahead and run the start script. And how do we run that? We're just gonna go back to the terminal. I'm gonna say npm run start, or basically for start we have a you know npm exception so we can just go ahead and say npm start as well so once you do that what it does is it runs this command react script starts start under the hood and it will start a local development server at localhost port 3000 right so yeah i mean uh okay anyway so we have this at the place so what we have right now is we have a local development server running at our computer and it would load once our build is complete. Now the initial first build, that is the first build would take some time, but once it's done, it would be fast. So you can see we have our uh, page right here and it says me that edit src app.js and save to reload. That means I don't have to refresh it. I'm gonna go ahead into app.js, let's hide the sidebar there. I'm just gonna say, uh, wow, this looks so cool, and hit save. And we're gonna see that if I go back to my browser, it's going to reload it automatically, and it just updates to wow, this looks so cool, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it, how you're gonna do uh, initialization of project with React, and that's all for this video. If you liked it, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then in the next one.